third standard science term 3 unit 1 or environment evaluation part first row letter choose the correct answer which of these is an example for biotic factor good second one our environment is surrounded by both biotic and abiotic factors third one human beings depend on dash for their food plants fourth one dash are the primary producers green plants are the primary producers dash are the primary producers green plants fifth one which is an example for decomposer bacteria which is an example for decomposer bacteria sixth question which of these living things would die if there were no green plants on earth and they have given you four options here a b c and d okay yes so any of these uh, living things will not survive if plants are not there why because either they are directly or indirectly depend on plants for their food so the answer is d1 a b c and d okay this is the answer next fill in the blanks first one dash is a consumer cow second a young plant is known as sapling third one planting of sapling provides oxygen fourth one world environment day is june 5th fifth one dash get food from dead plants and animals decomposes next we have match the following stone first one stone stone is a abiotic factor second question bacteria bacteria is a decomposer third one plants plants are producers Fourth, buffalo. Buffalo is a consumer. Next, we have say true or false. First one, abiotic factors are important for biotic factors. True. Second one, river is an example for biotic factor. False. Third, one Mahotsav is organized during the first week of July every year. True. Plants are the consumers. False. Fifth one. Plants provide food and shelter to living things. True. Roma letter 5. Answer the following. Answer the following. First one. Vijay placed two things P and R, one living and one non-living in a separate cages with food and water. And it was absorbed for four weeks. The weight of P in the first week is 2 kg, second week 4 kg, third week 6 kg and fourth week 8 kg. Whereas the weight of R remains same that is 1.5 kg for all the four weeks. Which thing is likely to be a living thing? Give reason for your answer. P is likely to be a living thing because its weight has been increased by 2 kg every week due to its growth. B. What will be the weight of living thing in week 6? 12 kg. Second question. Write two examples of biotic and abiotic factors. Biotic factors, lion, dove, human being. Abiotic factors, air, water, temperature. Third one, 
write any three difference between living and non living things living things breathe and grow non living things cannot breathe and grow living things need food to live non living things do not need food to live living things grow oh sorry give birth to young ones non living things do not give birth to young ones next fourth one list the abiotic factors needed for insects air soil next question what are the biotic factors of a balanced ecosystem produces consumes decomposes sixth one why plants are called primary producers the living things that can prepare their own food are called producers green plants are the producers they make their own food by the process of photosynthesis hence they are called primary producers seventh question write any four benefits of plants provides food and shelter to living things provides oxygen for breathing help in bringing rainfall absorbs harmful gases and smoke from the surrounding